It takes about 30 minutes for an intercontinental ballistic missile to reach its target. But we already know that. We face this threat every day. Go home, kiss our kids goodnight, and return to work the next day, ready. There was a time when the threat of nuclear war was our nation's top concern. The Soviet Union had the head start in space, but we had the head start in the atomic race. We showed that when we had to, we'd be willing to use the world's most devastating weapon. But we also learned something from that experience. We would never want to do it again. Peace is our profession. That became our motto. And we've prevented major power conflict for the last 70 years. There were some close calls, but calmer heads prevailed. And in 1991, we won the Cold War. Deterrence paid off. There were talks of peace, reducing nuclear arms and a change of pace for military operations. In some ways, things did change. We became the global power that other nations sought for help, but we were not the world's only nuclear power. It didn't take long for us to see that to keep America and her allies safe, deterrence had to remain a national priority. And that's where we come in. The threats of today and tomorrow are no longer defined between two superpowers. They're dispersed across the globe, challenging us in all domains. We see unstable nuclear powers, terrorist nation states, and rogue fighters looking to disrupt our way of life. America and her allies are relying on us to figure out the best way to navigate the 21st century. It won't be easy, but we live and breathe what is hard, impossible even and we succeed. Our commitment to the greatest responsibility will not be matched. Our advocacy for missile defense and electronic warfare, our expertise in the cyber domain, our integration of space. If our nation calls, our combat-ready forces are able to strike with a decisive response. Beneath the sea, underground, in the sky, above the earth, or across computer networks, all ready to ensure the free world remains free. Although our capabilities remain unsurpassed, that's not what makes us so powerful. Soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and civilians of U.S. Strategic Command, we give our enemies pause, and our nation and allies peace of mind. Let's look to the future. As we continue to fight, as we continue to deter, always remember that peace is our profession. <laughs>